I remember that winter between my first summer down here and my second summer down here, I had this map of Cataract Canyon and I would lay in bed and I'd just look at that map and I'd think about, I'd name all the side canyons and all the, just learn this place and think about every corner and every move as I went to bed. <laughs> Welcome to Meander Canyon, everybody. The first time I saw Cataract Canyon was actually eight years ago today. It was 42,000 CFS. I um, had never seen anything like that. I had just heard this talk around the boat yard of, it's gonna be so big. And uh, it was the biggest adrenaline rush of my life. <laughs> I fell in love. That just the, the, the size, the adrenaline, just there was something about it that I was hooked. And I did a few more swamping trips and I said after I think my third one that I'm gonna be the next female motor guide here. This way, and this way is down. And it's really just uh, feathering the motor. A lot of times you're generally kind of idling in using just enough power to get yourself through. So small, tiny blips are a lot easier to make movements happen than full throttle. In high water, the motor boats have a lot of mobility in the rapids. And so we have the ability to run a rapid and then turn around and kind of hold position either in a rapid or in the eddies just below the rapid and watch the boats come through. And if a boat turns upside down or if someone swims out of the boat, we have the ability to go motor over and pick them up. It's definitely nerve wracking. I mean, it's some of the biggest whitewater in North America. We run, we run waves out here that are 30 feet tall. You know, it's, it's, it's enormous. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Almost every single rock in this river is underwater right now. Pretty darn cool. But we can still high side to avoid big waves created by those rocks pushing us over. Every trip is so different. You know, there's a lot of factors that are very much out of our control. And we just we gotta be okay with that. That's one of the coolest things about this is like, this is yeah, very raw environment. There's just something about, for me, that adrenaline that you get for running that big water and just, you know, we like to say that even when you're below the big drops, you're always, you're always above the big drops. Well, as soon as I saw Dave pitch at Slackwater behind the marker, I was like, oh, here we go. And I saw the entire underside of that dory, and I thought it was over. I've always kind of been that lone female out here. I've gotten the nickname around town as Queen of Cat, which I don't know necessarily. Like, well, I don't know. There are other women that are out here, but um, for the last number of years, I've been one of the prominent women here in Cadillac Canyon. Sister, In some senses, Cataract Canyon is the last unregulated section of the Colorado. 
So the fluctuations are tens of thousands. This place is still wild. There's so much variation in flows. It's a different river every week we come down here.